everybody, today I'm going to show you how to grow your dragons in Advanced Dragons Mod. And can you please leave a like and subscribe because I'm trying to grow my subscribers to a million. Because it's just really nice when you do this because it looks amazingly cool. And I'm going to do this in separate episodes, so I'm going to show you the dark dragon egg first. And this is how you get your dragons onto this world. Because I just like this so much and I wanted you to show and I wanted to show you this. Because if I just do this and there's no middle section, I'm gonna end up in survival, but we can't get enough to get the right things in survival. Because you only get enough for one dragon, and that's the green dragon. So you always have to go and create it, create it at first. Because going in there means you have a whole inventory of things and items. Now I can go find different, um, different dragon activators instead of going to the tower. But we're only showcasing one dragon. And that is the dark dragon. It's right here. This is what it looks like. It has full attack damage. His lift is full. His speed is full. And I don't know this word at the bottom that's full. And these are all the dragons. This is the first one, the green dragon. It's the weakest. And sometimes I do this in survival and work up to the air dragon. It almost has full speed. He's one of the fastest. And one of the ice dragon is not so fast, but he's pretty strong. And the fire dragon is full attack, full lift, not full speed, and the other full thing at the bottom. The earth dragon has Lots of attack, lots of health and lift and speed and the other word. So today I'm going to showcase those items. And you want to be in survival mode when you do this, but I'm just going to showcase it in creative because it's really quick to go up the mountains. But you have to buy a saddle and if you want you can buy armor. Because I am and you don't have to it's just something you can do with the dragon and I like and I like eating other mobs this is good man this is the dark dragon totem and the dark dragon totem costs 64 emeralds that is a lot of emeralds but you always need an activator. And the activator, I don't know where it is back there, but it just, it looks really cool. And if I just go to a section that says dark, then I'll be able to see it. Right here are like, I think all the activators know. So I have to type in dark, and that's how I get to all the other dragons, but I just don't know how to type dark. D. Why don't you use your, D. your word talker like you always do? Dark. So now I have this little activator, so you can activate our dragon, and it looks really cute at first. But it grows and grows and grows. And this is how you summon it. You have a tap, and then there's a giant thing that goes around the egg and it gets summoned. And then you have to hold it down if you're on an iPad, where you right click, and then you can grow your dragon, so you tame it, and then you can ride it. And then you just put on a saddle, put on your upgrade if you have an upgrade, and your armor. 
The armor goes in the middle, the saddle goes on the top, the upgrade goes on the bottom. And that is how you make it. But the, all the different islands are around you. And I'm going to go to the fire island. One time I went here, there's lava dripping out of here. But not this time, because there's a button and then it erupts. And then there's no... And then there's like craters coming out of the ground. This is the bosses that you always fight. This is what his ability is. He breathes not just fire, but a different kind of fire. Like right now, he is killing another mob so that I will take damage. And he might die. And they're not invincible. And I am going to go to a dungeon. Right here, it says dungeon, this way. And I, sometimes I even get lost in these. And sometimes my dragons kind of like die. Don't let him die. But he won't. And, and he is really trained. And he's the best dragon, so he will not. And he attacks any mob he sees. But the mobs can attack him. Because the mobs are really violent. And I'm just going to put this on to easy mode for my dragon because he's not really trained. So here is where we choose what is going to be our dungeon choice dif difficult. It's going to be on easy and easy is actually pretty hard. My dragon will follow me and he will attack all these mobs. That is what the dragon does. Gotcha. So that's it for how to make a dark dragon in the mod of advanced dragons. Bye bye and I'll see you next time. Bye. And leave a thumbs up and subscribe. <laughs>